So we're here in Nice in France and of course you can make crepes anywhere in the world but I've been feeling really inspired to make them here and we are going to put this together to make a crepe cake. So yesterday we actually made homemade lemon butter or lemon curd. It's actually really, really yummy. So that's what's going to go in the layers. Three quarter of a cup of milk in the blender. Half a cup of water. Two eggs, just have to whisk them together. A cup of flour. Two to three tablespoons of melted butter. I'm just going to pour it into a big bowl which is where I'll store it in the fridge for about an hour, which apparently gets some of the bubbles out, which makes them smoother, and I think less likely to tear. This time we're actually trying to make a little uh, sort of mini crepe cakes, so not the whole crepe, because it's kind of, I think it's a bit easier for everyone to do, um, to make look pretty, because not everyone can get really round, perfect crepes. We had the best crepes ever in Paris and one was a galette which I think they make with buckwheat flour and that was delicious. Um, it's like super crispy and light. It was really nice and then one was just a sweet crepe. Um, I mean these aren't exactly like the ones in Paris. we've assembled our cakes. Um, this is a 24 layer crepe cake or a mini crepe cake. And these are mini mini <laughs> crepe cakes. 10 layers each but they're super tiny and add an element of cute if there wasn't already <laughs> that element with the crepe cake. We just whipped some cream in the blender because <laughs> <laughs> we didn't have a whisk and we thought we'd give it a go. It looks to have kind of worked. It looks pretty good, like I'm actually really really happy that we went with cutting out the circles because although I did want to make a big crepe cake, it would have taken a lot more ingredients to actually fill it and it would have been massive and there's only the two of us here. We mm. did actually try to give away <laughs> one of our little mini crepe stacks um, to the painter that came here today but he just had lunch so <laughs> hopefully that's what he said. Um, he's probably thinking what have these people done to crepes? <laughs> No. Ba -ba <laughs> Not around this one. But though that can be a middle layer. <laughs> what they call that. Thin. It's good. Oh <laughs> <laughs> it's flying off everywhere. <laughs> Nothing like a bit of paper towel for me ever. Got some little character around here. Yeah, too. around here. <laughs> this one didn't really work. Maybe a little bit more in the mixture. I think, uh, I think you're all about the character on the edge. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> the trolls and tribulations of induction. Pretty round. That one's not too bad. Nice and thin. Looks more like a little naan bread. Why oh, it's doing that? <laughs> Mandy's giving me this look because I took the pan off the heat whilst we are getting ready because I didn't want it to be too hot. What else can I say about crepes? They're delicious. Yeah. That is the most circle, I mean it sounds silly because that's the uh, shape of the pan but <laughs> I haven't been able to get like a nice circle one yet so yeah. This one's a disaster.
think it's called Lacoste, and the promenade Incan. And we just had a nice walk along 